Hello, good people. I trust you are well. Welcome to the Save Happy Life channel with me, Dr. Rose M. And uh, thank you for those who have been subscribing and sharing our videos because I have gotten very positive feedback and I'm very, very grateful. Could we talk about something that is on our head today? That is the hair. And uh, in relation to our psychological uh, well-being, everybody wears their hair the best way they want know they know how and the best way they want to wear it. Some have it long, shoulder length like mine. Others want to have it longer. Others want to have it short. Others want no hair on their heads. Whatever way, hair is hair, and we all have it. Uh, it is said that uh, the hair of a woman crowns her beauty and uh, it talks volumes about not just the physical beauty we can see, but also the inner peace and quiet in that particular person, not just a woman, but also a man. And uh, let us uh, talk a little bit about understanding how the hair grows because we just see it on the skin and it's sprouting and we cut it or we wash it or but what happens inside the skull it's a long long process longer than most probably you think it goes hair goes through four stages of growth and this the first stage is called anagen this is the formation stage all the 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 root stage really or, or so to speak and this takes the longest time it can take uh many months up to a year to form in uh, for hair to form in the hair follicles it moves on to the next level which is uh called catagen catagen stage is takes a very short time, very short because it takes less than a month for hair to move from that stage to the next. And uh, this is the hair in the follicles, and this is when the follicles st start dislodging the hair and it pushes the hair out. And um, it moves to the next stage. And the stage number three is telogen stage. And in this stage, the hair does not grow anymore inside the head or inside the, the skin or inside the scalp. What it does, it starts coming out on its way out to fall off because all our hairs fall off at one time or the other. And finally, when it's, it's just about to fall off, we say it has gotten to stage number four, which is exogen stage this is when you comb your hair and up from the, the the comb you can see uh, pieces of hair or strands of hair on the on the on the comb or your brush this is the last stage you're losing it it's going off it's gone it has done its work it has done the whole cycle and it has exited literally at the exo exogen stage uh, do you know that stress uh, is a key uh, reason uh, that that is not quite well explained in relation to hair loss? Stress aggravates or increases hair loss, and in this way, or through two especially conditions that I'm going to talk about. There is a condition at the telogen stage, the second last stage, the, no, no, the second last stage actually, which is stage number three, which we called the telogen. So there is the telogen effluvium, effluvium uh, condition where the stress aggravates hair loss. And at this stage, hair falls off more than ordinary 
that you comb your hair and you find that there is more hair in the comb more than uh, the, it's it's normal you realize that when you put your hair your 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 you comb through the hair it comes out with more hair than ordinary that is telogen effluvian uh, hair loss or, or stage of hair loss which is which is aggravated or which can be uh, enhanced by stress then there is another interesting uh, form of hair loss which is trichotillomania trichotillomania where when people are stressed they keep pulling out their hair you have seen maybe somebody they, they can't keep their hands off their hair they keep pulling off and they pull off a strand and another strand and another strand that is behavioral and uh, many times people do that when they are stressed then there is a, another reason number three why we lose hair which is alopecia and this is permanent hair loss the, after this the, this uh, hair, hair is lost through alopecia it does not it, uh, have the capacity to grow back on its own unless it is medically assisted looking at the stress uh, related hair loss we, we say that uh, when in, in in the stress stress related hair loss a person may have gone through a phase of stress for example in january and the hair falls off in july and then people are not able to marry the two because if for example it is stress that was in january and you're losing hair in june july august it is sometimes not easy to connect the two this is the case because hair takes a long time to grow so the effect of stress uh, takes place and by the time now the hair comes out of the follicles it has taken a lengthy period you may not relate the loss and the stress that uh, you had and uh, uh, luckily the stress related hair loss which is uh, telogen effluvium it is not permanent because once the stress phase is out then the hair has the capacity to grow again and uh, we have said that uh, since hair takes time from anagen through to telogen stage stress related hair takes long for somebody to to realize that they are losing hair because they were stressed well we are at it uh, dry scalp which produces flakes that we call dadra is worsened by stress for healthy hair please eat balanced diet and more so the proteins and the vitamins Treat your hair with tenderness, love, and care using the right products. Keep stress at bay. I used to tell some somebody, a colleague I, I was working with some a while ago, that I don't want stress because I want my hair to grow. So if you want your hair to grow, if you want your hair to be shiny, if you want your hair to look healthy, keep stress away from you i'm sure you have learned something new maybe not a lot but i'm sure you have something you have taken home and on this strength please share 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 and of course if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel thank you very much and god bless you bye bye